ஹாய் ஆல் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் இன்ட்ரோடக்டரி செஷன் ஆஃப் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிக் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் லெட் மீ இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் மை செல்ஃப் ஐ ஆம் டேவிட் ஆனந்த்குமார் ஏ கிராஜுவேட் இன் சைக்காலஜி அண்ட் ஏ போஸ்ட் கிராஜுவேட் இன் பப்ளிக் அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் அஸ் வெல் அஸ் பிஸ்னஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் பிஃபோர் வி ஸ்டார்ட் நோயிங் அபவுட் திஸ் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிக் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் லெட் மீ ஸ்டார்ட் வித் ஸ்டோரி ஆக்சுவலி ஆன் ஒன் டே ஒன் பர்சன் வாஸ் சிட்டிங் இயர் த விண்டோ ஒன் வாட்சிங் த ஸ்ட்ரீட்ஸ் ஹி சா த டூ பீப்புள் வேர் ஒர்க்கிங் ஆன் த ஸ்ட்ரீட் one person was digging a hole immediately the next person was filling it this person was uh, watching this uh, actions uh, in a very confused state why these persons are doing like this one person is uh, digging a hole without a gap and the next one is filling it what is the use of it what is the uh, real purpose of this he was really confused so he asked uh, he called them and asked them what are you doing the road is already bad you are digging a hole and immediately your friend is filling it then what's the purpose of it it's already there only now why should you dig a hole then fill it they said sir actually we are doing our duty okay actually we are two people working now but really our team is consist of three people we are three my job is to dig a hole his job is to fill it then he asked then what about the next one the third one he is absent today sir okay what is his job his job is to plant a rose in wherever i dig a hole his job is to plant a rose on it then uh, he understood what's happening this is the story of our organizations which don't have a strategic management team for them because they plan but they don't execute well blindly they follow some rules some uh, policies but they don't do it in a strategic way that is why a strategic management is very very necessary for any institution any organization actually the real strategic management studies were uh, uh, came into existence only after uh, second world war before that it was uh, now it was not in this kind of form it was uh, in a different kind of form but uh, it came after uh, second world war in western countries but in india our kings they were all well known for their strategic management even our kings had 72 departments to <coughs> maintain their kingdoms so they were very very clear about uh, the strategic management so we indians are not very new to this we already had enough uh, experience in this area uh, i can even uh, quote one tirukural uh, for you that uh, that it says before you do anything do this like that what it says வினை வலியும் தன் வலியும் மாற்றான் வலியும் துணை வலியும் தூக்கி செயல் தட் இஸ் திருக்குறள் சைஸ் த மீனிங் ஆஃப் இட் இஸ் பிஃபோர் யூ ஸ்டார்ட் எனி திங் எ பிஸ்னஸ் சம்திங் பிஃபோர் யூ ஸ்டார்ட் யூ ஷுட் வே த பர்பஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் ஃபார் வாட் ரீசன் ஐம் கோயிங் டு டூ திஸ் திஸ் பிஸ்னஸ் ஃபார் வாட் இஸ் த கோல் ஆஃப் திஸ் பிஸ்னஸ் ஸோ தேட் ஷுட் பி டிசைடட் ஃபஸ்ட் தென் யூ ஷுட் வே யுவர் ஸ்டென்ட் what is your own strength what is your own strength for doing this business the next one you should weigh the strength of your opponent or competitor what is his strength what kind of uh, strategies they are following then you should weigh the strength of your associates they may be your vendors your suppliers uh, or something like that your associates you should weigh their strength also so before you start a business you should do all these things that is good for your business that is called a strategic management a management strategically done that is called strategic management okay uh a main uh, part of the strategic man- management is policy making before you start any business you should sit and draw something like what is the policy of this organization that policy itself will going to decide what is the purpose of this business who is your targeted customer what are the methods you are going to follow in your business for producing a service or a product what kind of methods you are going to follow who you will hire what are their roles and responsibilities these kind of things will be drafted under the policies 
so once you have a good policy you are having a good reason to uh, run the company in a easy way so policy making is very important the next one is your planning after making the policy you are going to use what are the things you already have see the management is nothing but integrating all your resources together you may have a good uh, um, source of um, human resources good source of technology machineries investment all you may have in a different different way but you should organize them you should integrate them in a harmonious way to make a big clear uh, sweet music that is called business so your planning should integrate all the available resources together so that is very 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 important sometimes strategy management uh, as you say even though it is a, a long term planning process we can't say it is full proof it may have mistakes it may have a lot of uh, negative points so all your strategic management policies or your uh, methods should be like it should be always ready to um, adopt any change you may have a yeah, different different situation at any time see this pandemic situation nobody expected this kind of situation anywhere in the world immediately lot of things changed nobody expected this so this kind of situations may come at any time to any business so you cannot say that your strategic management is uh, capable enough to think far far beyond uh, about any kind of situations which may occur that doesn't mean like that a strategic management is a, is like a basic thing basic policy and basic uh, business strategy uh, management organizing way that's all you may have different kind of problems uh, challenges um, at any time so your strategy should be uh, very 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 volatile for this all these things any time it should adopt the changes which the market demands you your opponent may uh, make you do something your market may make you do something your customer may make you thinking uh, something different that will happen at any time so your strategy should be very very flexible to adopt these changes there are two kinds of business types are there one is proactive next one is reactive proactive means your company is uh, doing lot of creative activities you are giving new products uh, new services to the field and your company is very proactive but it is not the only one way you should also be reactive what is that if your opponent is doing something good he is doing some uh, services really nice he is giving a very good product you should be very reactive to that you should adopt that you should study what is his strength according to the strength you should re uh, arrange your policies or you should uh, recalculate everything you should uh, sit and plan again according to the market situation so every organization should be both proactive as well as reactive that is the easy way of uh, getting success in the market you can say that uh, you can call it as a ripple effect what is the meaning of a ripple effect is one change may cause another change because of this that will happen if uh, no vehicles are running the lorries are not running your commodities uh, rate will automatically rise that is called a ripple effect one change is bringing another change that change is bringing another change so your clear strategic management should take care of all these effects into their consideration uh, for, for before uh, framing any business uh, plans or execution something like that normally a strategic management can be done in three different levels in all the organization one is at corporate level then one is at another uh, management level then uh, the last one is uh, at the execution level what is the corporate level uh, so you can uh, see that ceos and uh, um, uh, directors of the companies they are at the corporate level they are the people who are uh, really framing the policies setting the targets and bringing the investment capital everything together so that is called corporate level then the business level your gms are there your market marketing managers are there 
your purchase manager is there a lot of managing uh, management parts are there so second level managers are there they are the business level who are taking care of this strategic management to get everything organized as well as uh, as uh, as we planned as we uh, plan to use the resources the next level is your execution level there comes uh, your real uh, field people your staff your marketing executives uh, your field workers your skilled persons they are coming in that level so all these three levels are together forming the execution team of this um, strategic management all these three levels are together which will perform the goal of this strategic management so normally um, uh, if we plan very well but we if we do not execute it uh, in the correct way then there is no use of this planning i may tell you a story one person called a call center for complaining about a technical problem he called for a technical executive the person who picked the call said uh, that the executive is not available sir he is at meeting okay uh, you bring the next level person the manager or something i'll tell you i tell him my problem no no sir he is also attending meeting oh, what's it okay you get me a senior person then i'll complain this to that the senior person no sir he is also attending a meeting they said this fellow got really you know got very angry and he said what is what is happening there why all of them are attending meeting what is that meeting what for they are attending all this and the person who took the phone he said they are attending meeting for improving the customer service this is what happening in so many organizations they are coming together they are putting lot of meetings they are discussing 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 about customer service or product improvement but the real problem is not get, getting attended by any one of that so to avoid this kind of uh, silly things we need a better strategic management team and not only framing a uh, framing uh, planning or something they should take care of implementing and getting the result uh, in a correct way getting things done they should take care of getting things done so that kind of uh, team is very very necessary for uh, any organization but having a strategic uh, management is uh, not a easy task because it's very costly sometimes uh, it may uh, require a lot of investment to bring that kind of uh, uh, experts strategic experts into your organization so it needs a lot of money it takes your time for uh, sitting and planning a lot of things are there so every organization should be ready to accumulate all these things and ready to accommodate all these things then only they can have a very good strategic uh, in uh, strategic planning team that is very very useful for their business uh, moves so uh, this is uh, some kind of points uh, i would like to say about the uh, uh, strategic management as a just one introduction so uh, in our uh, next videos we'll go uh, into deeper parts and deeper uh, um uh, ideas so if you like this video please let me know what is your opinion what is your comments and uh, we will meet in the next video soon with more topics and more explanation thank you for watching thank you very much